Glasgow's probably got the most parks. I think it has got the most parks of any city in the whole of the UK. Um, it's known as the Deer Green Place as well, Glasgow, um, because of the amount of parks it's got. Um, we parks and big giant parks, those are different ones. But you don't really see that many people using them anymore like you used to. But um, I suppose it comes down to move, people moving with the times and uh, like computers and all that, like people spend a lot of time on these things and stuff like that. And you don't see a lot of people in the park, but you actually see quite a lot happening just outside the park. But nobody actually stops in the park and just walk through it to get to somewhere else. As I remember, it was in the 70s and stuff like that, or even in the 80s before they brought in the drinking ban, used to like, loads of people used to go to the park and party, uh, party in the park all the time. But I mean, um, some people didn't like that and they barred it. Um, and it, it, it had to, I mean, parks, parks are nice, but there's no much going on in them. I mean, good, good for the wildlife and all that, if you want to see a wee bit of wildlife, I suppose. Are you one of the folks where your glasses keep falling off or, and you, you have to keep them somewhere big so you can find them again? Well, my name is Optician McNabb. <laughs> yeah, USA. Today I'm going to show you folks, today I'm going to show you folks a new invention where you can keep your glasses. Okay, folks. You keep your glass in here, and, you, and you're in a hurry. You gotta, you gotta get to a, a dodgeball game or NASCAR. Yeah, NASCAR, NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you wanna go to a game, and you, you need your glasses. You can't see what's on the field. And you, I, I, I know I ain't got no pockets on what I'm wearing today. You take one of these, you walk in, you buy a beer, you walk about, look cool, look at it fashion. But anyway, folks, you go to a game, you can't see, what's happening, what's that for? Ooh, what's happening on the side of the field, I can't see. But you got your glass container, power glasses on! There we go, folks. <laughs> the power keeper for your glasses. <laughs> Just keeps on throwing in glasses on your face. That's why I was so impressed. I bought the whole damn company. Hey, have you got any bamboo? Have you got any bamboo? No, I haven't got any bamboo, you greedy pig. I've noticed the gate's not open since we don't get any bamboo. I thought you'd like to have a wee treat. Treat me like what? Treat you like a lady. The lady you are. I'm taking you to the Chinese restaurant down the road. What about the zookeeper? He might notice we're gone. As long as we keep ourselves discreet and keep a low profile, nobody will suspect a thing. I don't really care. But you said you were starving, didn't you? Aye. I used to dehydrate and stuff, but actually, and uh, you think the other one, don't you? You think to yourself, mental. You go to these steroids, kind of pressure's too long, get myself out. I thought it was a wee bit, and I thought I'd got to the accident emergency. I think, ruined me. <laughs> uh, I was basically get a couple of. Uh, it's really bizarre, I don't feel well to sleep in here. It's a hard thing to do, right away, really excruciatingly so heat no well and took one look at me. You're stuck, I think, there three people around me. I didn't know where I was. People with different things, stuff, different issues. I was just one of these things, you're like, different walks of life, medical drugs or whatever, tablets. All this stuff going on, absolutely the worst thing ever. Sticking needles to machines on me. I'd put me right into a ward, just in this bed. Uh, I really didn't care about anything. Well, thank you. This has been Down in the Basement with me, Johnny P, and the one and only... What's your name? Virgil McNabb. Otherwise known as Blades. Yeah! No, it is I, Count the Body Boy. Huh? <laughs>
I have flown all the way here from the Carpathian Mountains in Transylvania just to drink your panda blood, my friends. <laughs>